I have Christina Shaw from Allstate uh, on the phone. You guys are uh, right now on my podcast, Can Your Banker Do This? Uh, again, I'm Darren Kaplan. Remember, you can always find me at MrMortgageGuru.com. And you can always call me at 844-772-LOAN. Uh, Christina Shaw, why don't you tell everybody where you're located and how they can reach out to you first and foremost? Awesome. Well, first, I want to say thank you. Um, I love working with you and I appreciate our friendship. So thank you. Um, I'm Christina Shaw and I own an Allstate agency in Wontaw. And I've owned the agency, my gosh, it's uh, coming up on 22 years. Wow. I consider myself absolutely blessed to do work that I love. Um, you could reach me. I have the greatest phone number, 516-900-1234. You can call that number. You could text that number. And um, on social, you could find me, of course, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. Um, I'm very digitally connected. And um, I just love working with um, Darren's clients. It's, it's awesome that you're their trusted advisor for the whole process and then you get to turn that over to me and then I get to work with them for years and years. It's pretty awesome. One thing we totally need to do, and if everybody's listening out there, speak about life insurance. You, you may say, oh, I'm too young or I don't need it, but listen, I got life insurance right after 9-11. Okay, the planes hit the towers. I was 22 years old and the first thing I did, I got life insurance. I bought a million dollars for $30 a month. I it's mean. so true, Darren. It's so inexpensive when you are young. I um, mean, I always say tomorrow is not promised. And if we've learned anything living through um, COVID-19, it is that yeah, tomorrow is not promised. Um, I have, uh, and then you also with life insurance, I love that you bought it so young because um, you may be young and you um, may be in your first home and you don't yet have kids. So you may think, well, what do I need this for? But God forbid you get sick and it's um, an illness that you can live with, but that may put you out of life insurance and then you're going to have kids and then what happens if something um, unfortunate happens. So life insurance, um, and they give you a discount, believe it or not, on your car insurance. Oh, if you, you have go. Life insurance with Allstate, um, it's so simple to set up. I have somebody in my office, Avi Zaswani, he's amazing. Um, it could be simple or complicated. It's up to what you want to do. There's a lot of different options. I love, I love it. You know what I love that you do, Darren, with your clients? Um, when you refer over to our agency, you because you really care about your client, um, you refer early on in the process, which I love. Yes, I can issue a binder when you're at the closing table. That's never a problem. But I love having the ability to really educate the client, right? Like some clients need to insure jewelry and others do not. Some clients need um, an umbrella policy and some do not. So when you refer early in the process, the buyer of the property is not feeling that pressure and we're really able to have some good conversations. So um, you're knows? educating them up front, right? And then God forbid we have like a debt ratio problem, right? We know then and there rather than trying to deal with it after underwriting, you know, and then they have already had the conversation with you. So they're comfortable with you and your product and your program up front. Yeah. There's no shopping. You know, it's, so, it's um, I always tell this story, if I may, that there were three key coverages when I had my house fire um, now four years ago in October, where I literally lost the entire house. Um, loss of use coverage. So you still have to make your mortgage payment, even though my house was literally burnt to the ground. So I rented, I had to rent a fully furnished home. Did they and, cover that by any chance? Well, because I had loss of use coverage of my property insurance, mm -hmm. I still paid the mortgage and the insurance company paid my rent. I was out of my house for 18 months. Jesus. Um, and then I had my jewelry insured. Um, and then I had building code because the town of Hempstead, I live in Lido Beach, said I had to come in and raise my home. So if I didn't have building code, that would have been another 54000 Oh, so my God. Pennies, but if you don't have them, it could be quite devastating. 
So, so to add to what you just said about having your, your house burned down, which is, uh, I'm sure, a devastating thing. Um, one day, me and my wife, we got a call. We were sitting. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. We were watching Lord of the Rings back, back in the heyday, you know, when it first came out. I remember sitting. It was like 2 in the morning, and I got a call in our investment property, not too far from where we lived, maybe like it was on the other side of Deer Park Avenue. At that point, we lived in Deer Park, and it was on fire. And I'll tell you, it snowed that night. And we just, we were just concerned that there was nobody hurt, number one, you know, and everybody got out, you know, um, but I totally agree with the right coverage. And I understand like, once you go through something like that, then the insurance part kicks into you. And you're never thinking when, and you've been through it, so you know, you're never thinking, oh, I'm so upset that I paid another $40 for that coverage. You are so grateful. Um, when the house was burning, actually, I looked at, uh, now my ex-husband, but he was my husband at the time. I looked at him and I said, thank God I redid my disability insurance. Oh my God. This is what you're thinking, Christina. And I said, it just, in a blink of an eye, our life changed. I know. I hear you. And, and this is, this is, uh, a really important topic, especially now. So we talked about a few things we showed about, talked about being insured correctly. You know, so ask yourself, are you insured correctly? Okay. And then the, the next part of owning a home and being insured and having those good coverages is, do I have enough coverage for myself in case something happens? You know, and I'm talking to Christina Shaw over at Allstate and Wantaw. Christina, again, tell everybody how they can reach you. They can reach me by calling me or texting me at 516-900-1234. Awesome. Awesome. And I totally appreciate your time, you know, and it's always good to talk to you. You, you have awesome resources and get involved. You know, that's my biggest thing. What you do the most is, you know, you educate, you know, you know, motivate and you inform, you know, and um, the more people that know what's really going on, it's not just a price, right? It's not just a quote that you're shopping. Yes, your, your quote may be a little lower or a little higher, but there's reasons behind it, right? There's the right coverages. And that, those are things that you're honest with, you're upfront with, and you, t- and you discuss with the clients. Always. And I tell the client, um, Google us, read our reviews. It's very self-serving for me to tell you that I'm, I'm big with that. You know that. I'm huge with the reviews. You could do all the social media you want, but the reviews, you know, and listen, not every review is going to be wonderful and great. That's what reviews are about. Yeah. And I love the review of if a mistake was made because we're human and we make mistakes. How, how did our agency fix it? I think that's what's important and responding to those reviews. hundred percent. Um, we just, we just love what we do. And I think that comes through when you talk to my team, I have a pretty awesome team like you do. No doubt about it. And you're covering pretty much all of New York, right? I think we did many deals upstate. We did the boroughs. We did Long Island. I mean, I'm covering it all here in New York with you. Um, and, uh, the inputs real, this is real input from somebody who house burnt down. (laughs) She owns an agency and her own house burned down. So what better experience than that? I mean, there and is- to that point, Darren, you know, I, I consider myself very compassionate, um, but more so after the fire, when a client calls in and has had a life event and a claim, I get what it's like. Um, I had no clothes that night. I literally slept in my mom's pajamas. Um, we had nothing. And so I understand and I'll hold their hands and I'll walk them through that. So yes, of course, the insurance company will take care of the money part, but the emotional part is, um, I get that. And and that's, it kind of puts us um, apart from a lot of insurance companies. 